daily knockout tournament time. Here we go. It is the fifth player available to us to add to the collection. Team of the season, Nacho Fernandez. At first, I wasn't really too interested in the card. He's a little bit small. Overall, he doesn't look amazing. But I thought I'd unlock him to let you guys know if it's worth it. So not only do I have the team that I use for the cut run, I did play him in another team. So I've got a little bit of a mixture for today's video. So hopefully you do enjoy it. Leave a like. 2,000 likes, much appreciated. If you're needing game codes or anything game related, head over to G2A.com. Use the code Fuji. That will give you guys a discount. And let's get into it. The team that I had in mind that I was wanting to build was going to look something similar to this. Reds on the left, blues on the right. It was going to be a reds versus blue team. I'll probably do that in the next couple of days. I think that would be pretty cool. It will look great. Let's face it, it might not play well, but it would look nice. With the rating, though, the requirements are to have an 83 rated side, all gold. So you can't drop in a silver and lower the rating that way. So unfortunately, I used this team and had to sacrifice the bench. I did bring on these two, though, as uh, super subs in the final. One game, zero goals, one assist. And that assist proved to be very important. It got me the winner, and I had to clutch up, man. It was uh, it was a sketchy final, but I will have the cup run in a second. With the team that I used, though, it's in the 4-2-3-1 number two formation, but I switched up to the narrow one. I prefer that with the cams. I feel that the creativity flows a little bit more with this. It's very good to keep possession, but I do prefer the narrow feel to the 4-2-3-1, but then at times you are able to spread the play. I think it's very well balanced. So the players that I dropped in, we have uh, Consigli in goal, Ori had to bring back him and to be honest if you're looking to bring uh, some awesome players into your team and have uh, the rating lowered just use Lucas seriously just use Lucas get yourself Cabela that scored a goal and one thing that is really weird and it just goes to show how balanced this team was four games two goals one assist for El Shirari then you have Cabela four games two goals one assist Lucas, you know what I'm getting at. Four games, two goals, one assist. That is just really, really weird. But I dropped in at Lacazette. Spoilers, I've sold Lacazette on the Road to Glory series just for the fact that 1.6 million is a lot of coins. And this one is probably... I wouldn't say it's just as good because that is a damn right lie. It's not. The team of the season is so good. 1.6 million though, I... <laughs> It doesn't really interest me to keep him at the club for 1.6. So I wanted to free up some coins in time for the Serie A team of the season. De Rossi wasn't so bad, actually partnered with Matuidi. It's been a long time since I last used him, and he's amazing. Do you know what, though? Bonucci, even with um, 73 pace and that shadow chemistry style, it's the way that he reads the game which makes him amazing. So the team of the season, if they bump his pace up to 78, I think he's going to be... Well, I will buy him definitely and use him in the weekend league. And Marquinhos, he's been he's been a rock actually. As you can see, 61 games already, and I do like him at times. I feel that the medium medium work rates do affect him a little bit when uh, he doesn't track back. And yeah, he's all right though. I think he does a good job. So I did use the team in the 4-2-3-1 narrow, and my custom tactics have changed. I use 80 speed instead of 70, and it just adds to the, really the support. I like to play fast, but I do like to have the balance at the back. So yeah, if you want to use those tactics, give it a go. I wish you luck in the tournament. That's uh, the squad that I used. And yeah, let's go and have a look how the cut run went down. So I will have the gameplay playing out in the background. I might have to look over to my PC just to keep up with what's going down. What I wanted to speak to you guys about though are bad habits. And it's not until you strip everything back and you use an 83 rated team, for example, because those were the day knockout tournament requirements, you do get into bad habits where you forget how to work the ball. And it's not until you do get rid of players like Ronaldo, Human Son, Hullet, you start to notice, oh my god, I've actually forgotten how to build up play. So with players like Cabela, Lucas, Matuidi, they're good cards, and I would recommend giving this team a go, especially if you are going to switch up to the 4-2-3-1 narrow with uh, the custom tactics that I showed you. It, it just is a, a wake-up call. It's an opener, an eye-opener to say, look, what are you doing? You can't use Ronaldo all the time. You can't use Humi and Son. So it's nice to bring in a player like Daniele De Rossi, for example, who isn't incredibly quick, but he has amazing tackles. So if you're someone that is going to be able to read the play, position him, he will perform for you. And that's what I was liking about, uh, about the team. Like Matuidi, uh, De Rossi as the two CDMs worked very, very well. Cabela always picks up goals. He was one of my go-to two players remember that French team that we had at the start Kingsley Coman because I hadn't yet discovered Martial yet it was Kingsley Coman Lucas Lacazette 
um, Cabela, Matuidi. It was a very basic French team that I was using in the weekend league, and Cabela would just score goal after goal. And even in the cut run, you saw, I think it was two goals, one assist, and it was very balanced. El Shirari, honestly, I don't really notice too much of a difference between like the 86 in form that I used versus the premium uh, SBC card. So that's uh, a bit of a weird one, but he's still good. And the way I was using the team was to get the pace on the wings, to work the ball, and then try and set it over to Lacazette. But I did sell Lacazette on the Road to Glory counter. The SBC is good enough for me. I, lo I love the SBC. What I've noticed though, like the real difference is the pace. And when I came back to this card after having played the Weekend League uh, last night, I did notice, I was like, hang on a minute, Lacazette, come on. What are you doing? You're too slow. You, you're not that agile. And you do feel the difference. It's a shame that he's 1.6 million because it's a great card. Way too expensive though. Realistically, he should have been maybe 1.1, 1.2. 1.6 is pushing it for me. I'm not going to keep someone like that at the club. Bonucci though. Bonucci and Marquinhos. I love the way the cars look. Both 90. One red, one blue. And it's a great partnership. So if you were lucky enough to unlock Marquinhos, definitely get yourself a, a version of Bonucci and just have those two at the back. But there you go, guys. That was the cut run. Uh, I got a little bit lucky. Well, very fortunate at the end. Um, I, may, I managed to head it on with uh, one of the substitutes that I brought on and then laid it over to uh, Lacazette to get me the winner. Lacazette always picks up with those all-important goals. I thought, honestly, I was going to fail that cut run, but it was one of those runs where it could have been literally like record-breaking for me. First game, second game, third game, I didn't concede a single goal and no one had any shots against me. And the last game, well, in the final, I had a load of shots um, that could have easily gone in to make it 2-3-0 to three nil, and I didn't take them. And I wonder if, if those went in, my opponent would have in fact rage quit. So that would have been every single game where none of my opponents took a shot against me. That would have been pretty impressive. But the first, second and third, I'll take that. That's definitely a new record. But anyway, guys, let's go back into the team and I'll show you the squad that I used. Fernandez in. First of all, I was trying to build a playable team with all of those unlockable cards from the day knockout tournament. It didn't really look that great though. We had Sigerson striker with Montero left wing. It wouldn't have worked. Very messy. I ended up with something like this though, and I don't think I've done a bad job. Marquinhos, Fernandez, Rudy, and Pulisic that I've been enjoying very much though. Four star weak foot, three star skill moves isn't the end of the world and he feels great on the ball and Castro for 30,000 coins I'm just going to keep him on the road to glory count he's very very good and I did face up against a viewer of mine in division one and he said please add this at the end of your video so yeah I wasn't going to show you any highlights I was basically just going to say if uh, Fernandez was worth it or not so we're going to some highlights in just a second with Fernandez though Five games, no goals, no assists, five for ten. You guys know what I'm going to say. For me personally, I know I've used him. I will never use him again. Five for ten is a no-go for a defender. He's going to cause you problems, and when you really need him to win the ball in the air, he won't win it. A player like Harry Kane, Lukaku, will tower over him, and it's going to cause you problems at the back. His pace as well, like, I can understand a lot of people that will get on with Asper de Quetta. I've come up, up against him a couple of times, and he's very strong going into the tackles. Aerial battles, I, I didn't really test him too much, but he does feel very good. What he has over Fernandez, though, are those super juice stats. Much quicker, very good defending and physical. With Fernandez, he's one of those average team of the seasons, and 5 for 10 medium, medium work rates doesn't really look that great. So the side, though, it played ever so well. I did once again switch up to the 4 2 3 1 formation. When I use 4 1 2 1 2, I start off with that at times to get into the game get the goal and then I'll switch up to the 4-2-3-1 because most of the time in the weekend league you won't you won't feel that responsive gameplay. So 4-2-3-1 allows you to make a few mistakes here and there. So this is how I use the side. We had Pulisic as the right attack in mid, and I actually used Castro on the right. I've been using uh, Hernandez, may as well use Hernandez, you know. He's, he isn't so bad, and Royce, in fact, turned up in this team. So there we go, guys. So let's go into some more highlights, and we're in the episode. Is Fernandez really worth unlocking? Let's find out. So the real answer to that question, is Fernandez worth it? It really comes down to how seriously do you play FIFA? If you're someone that wants to compete at the highest level in Division 1 in the Weekend League, then all that Fernandez is good at is causing you problems. Let's face it, he's too small to really make an impact. If you're wanting to take the game as it comes, play casually, use him in different sides, then yeah, he's worth unlocking. It's a free card. 
With the way he plays in game though, he's got a good amount of pace, he has a nice challenge, his strength isn't amazing but definitely like with the pace it helps him out because he can get in front of the man anyway. The way to manoeuvre him, he, ha he he feels good, like he actually is a good defender. He, he releases the ball well with that 80 passing. I would say that his aerial ability is a killer. It kills the card for me. So you won't be seeing me use him in the weekend league at all. Is it a nice card to unlock? Of course, it adds to the collection. It's a shame though that they couldn't have given it to somebody else. Like most of these cards, actually, to be fair, Rudy that I've been using, he's good. Pulisic is great. Who was the other one? Actually, I was gonna say like most of these day knockout tournament cards are pretty rubbish, but yeah. They're good, like they're good, apart from Fernandez. I wouldn't really say rush out, unlock the card, but if you're playing the knockout tournament anyway, then like I mentioned, it's, it's a nice card to add to collection. But anyway guys, he's not worth it. Drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed and found it beneficial. If you're excited for my Ultimate Road to Glory episode tomorrow, leave a like as well, and I will see you very soon with some more Ultimate Team content. Team out. Peace.